Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the, what is it, six? But the timing is fluid, right? These can resonate, you know, whenever. I have people tell me quite often that they, that one, they saw one in the lineup below that was uh, a ways out. I get that a lot. And they're like, oh, I watched it and it resonated. So keep that in mind. The timing is fluid. If one pops up for you that was done three months ago or yesterday or whatever, there's a reason why that happens. There's no such thing as coincidence. Every word that comes out of my mouth during a reading is part of the reading. There is no such thing as coincidence. So what do we have for a message today? somebody that is pretending oh we talk about that a lot right get the get real please get real huh. what do we got the laziness we got somebody here that's lazy they're frustrated refusing to explore new avenues you know they need to get real <laughs> all right the hermit now it's time to reflect a time to withdraw completely going within so yeah it's completely going within thinking the time of of thinking right not wanting to socialize time of reflection lack somebody may have lost a love connection or there's a lack of love a lack of reciprocation ace of cups reversed so we have a, somebody that is gaining some sort of wisdom probably because of a loss there could be some tears. It's a very emotional time. Now the hermit is, is somebody that is gaining wisdom. So we have we have somebody here that is gaining wisdom. They're probably not feeling very loved, feeling alone or needing to be alone. Okay, so this person is thinking about love, put it that way, or the lack thereof thinking and it's and it's emotional so it's a very emotional time the high priest and the and the hermit so this is the hair font and we have the, so we have somebody here that is going through an awakening they're going through an awakening there's a higher power involved here there is Somebody is being called to have faith and trust and to listen, to listen to their intuition, listen to their gut. There's a divine connection here. And through silence, you will receive the answers. But silence is a must. So we have somebody here that may be suffering from a broken heart or they're just feeling emotional. And it's like there's a higher power that is listening. And there could be even some praying going on because this is a Jesus consciousness. So it's like there's some sort of um, heartache by the looks of things that is bringing, that is waking somebody up. It's putting them through a stage of enlightenment or a time of enlightenment. There is a higher power involved. Four of rods, which is the four of wands. Now, This card in particular, this is a going down a new path. It's exciting. There's an exciting opportunity. Somebody, they may not see it. You may not know it. Now, this is a gathering or a get-together, doing something together. Going on a trip of some sort. Going on a journey. And I'm not going by any typical meanings. I'm going by what I see. Somebody may uh, meet somebody unexpectedly. Or they may join into a group or, and meet somebody that they did not expect. I know that's a, that's a little, you know, going off of this message. But you may meet somebody suddenly or, or somebody that you don't expect at a gathering or at a, you know, get together in a group setting by the looks of things. This person is lacking or they're feeling alone. Two of rods or two of wands reversed. So... Restless. We got somebody here that is feeling restless, undecided. But this could also be a sudden, a sudden thing. Something suddenly changes. I 
happens all of a sudden. So we have this loner who probably has been praying for love. They say it comes when you least expect it, right? And there's no such thing as coincidence. Interesting. Interesting. So I think we have somebody here that has been alone and they have been reflecting. They have been in their, you know, thinking mode and they've been praying. They've been praying. This is the Ace of Cups for love and it hasn't been coming. And they may, and they need to have faith and trust that in divine timing. And it's like you don't even see it. And all of a sudden it's right in front of you. It's right there. It's right in front of you. So it's very sudden. It's like you're moping. You're, you may be crying. You may be sad. Whatever. And all of a sudden it's right there. It's very sudden. So there's, a, there's something happening suddenly. Page of Swords. Now some of you may have somebody that has their guard up. Doesn't trust. Maybe a scared. Do you notice there's like a scarecrow here? It's like, what the hell? Who the hell? What the hell? Who are you? This is scary shit, right? It is scary shit. So, you know, somebody may instantly put their guard up. It's like, oh, I don't know if I can trust you. You know? Um, this person may be a little direct. You know? There's a direct connection. Or there's a feeling of, you know, wow. You know, holy shit. That kind of thing. Holy shit. So, hmm. Two of cups reversed. Now, he. Let me get another one. Three of wands. Re unprepared. Unprepared for a partnership. Not ready for it. Not ready. Wasn't. Didn't think it was ever going to come. And here it is. So, I think that we have a union or a partnership that is happening very suddenly and we it may be a shock it may be a shock it's like you're not prepared for it you don't see it coming and all of a sudden it's right in front of your nose so and there's fear there or fear of getting in a partnership getting in a commitment I think there's fear there's indecision it's like oh my god I didn't holy shit I didn't even see this coming so yeah you didn't even see it so that's what this is that's all, and it is about a commitment. We have commitment here and commitment here. It's like all of a sudden there's an opportunity for, you know, you meet somebody suddenly. And this could, you could even meet this person at a church. It doesn't have to be a church, but, or a government building or something like that. Um, or out in the, out on a path, you know, out on a path somewhere. Um, walking, you're walking. Um, it happens very suddenly. Interesting. Three of cups reversed. Three of cups reversed. It's not on social media. You don't meet this person on social media. Interesting. tower reverse you never saw it coming we talked about that already this is not somebody that you are going to reunite with from your past there's no reunion with the past here so if that you think this is the case it's not that's a loss there's going to be something very shocking that happens it's a shocking uh I feel like it's a new opportunity. Yeah. The King of Cups. It is. It's a, it's it's a it's a it is definitely a shock. It's a huge shock. It's not somebody that hurt you in the past. It's not. This is not somebody that you are friends with now. It's somebody, it's totally spontaneous. Totally spontaneous. This is somebody that is, is looking for love. A romantic. Somebody that is very feeling, very charming. Has a big heart. This person that has a big heart. has been through something 
this person has been through something destructive, has been through something terrible with a third party situation, may have been cheated on. But it feels like now they're ready. That's why they went into hermit mode. So somebody has been in hermit mode. They've been alone. But now it's like now they're ready. They've been thinking about love and they're ready for love. So we have a we have a somebody that is a, opening their heart. But this three of cups is parting ways with people that don't serve them. Friends, relationships, family, whatever. It's parting ways. I think we have somebody here like that was feeling like their prayers weren't being heard their prayers weren't being answered but it's all about divine timing right seven of cups we've seen clearly we do have somebody here that is seeing clearly they've received some sort of clarity and they may be choosing to get rid of a third party if if that's the case but i don't know if that is the case this is this is parting ways with somebody with friends or family or with a relationship that was false it was based on fantasy suddenly this is sudden it's a painful change Somebody could even be getting in a fight with somebody. I mean, I mean, I hate to change it up, but the tower reverse, that is that is extreme. That's an extreme upheaval or an extreme change, which is painful. This person has experienced a painful loss. But now this loss has brought them enlightenment. It has changed them. And maybe now somebody has been terminated. They've been they've been terminated in some way with the three of cups reversed. There was a lack of emotional growth, but this loss caused their growth. You know, it caused their um, evolution per se. Anyhow, we have somebody here that is is looking for love and is ready for love. They uh, see an opportunity. They've got some sort of clarity. They are ready to focus on the future. There is probably a breakup or there has been a breakup or there's going to be a breakup and it could happen very suddenly. I'm just being honest with you. I know I'm changing it, but this is, could be a sudden split. Maybe it happened already. This happened for a reason. That happened for a reason because there's there's somebody else. Okay? This is like, uh, I feel like there's a sudden opportunity that came after some sort of disruption that really hurt another person it was it was a big thing it was a big deal there was a third party situation it didn't work out for a reason this person suddenly decides to stop okay they suddenly see a situation clearly they suddenly decide that their heart wants something else so there could be a breakup there's no such thing as coincidence. We have somebody here that has been thinking long and hard about what their heart wants. And I feel like there's been a level of indecision, but they see clearly what they need to do and they make a decision. They make a decision based on what their heart wants. Anyhow, and that may mean breaking up with the wrong one or if they've already done that. For somebody, it's already done that because I see a sudden coming together. Okay? Okay. But this, and this is like an enemy though. So I'm wondering if, if there's been some sort of, you know, somebody has their guard up and it's like, man, where did you come from? Scary. It is scary. It is scary. So I think that we have somebody here that is very scared, ready to battle, ready to fight, ready to, to push somebody away. So I think we have somebody that has gained some sort of enlightenment. There's a higher power that involved that has aided in this enlightenment and now they are bringing this person towards a, a union that they are probably meant to be committed in and it happens very suddenly um, we do have a very feeling individual who is now coming out of confusion they may not have been prepared for a commitment in the past. 
They may not have been prepared for marriage or whatever the case is. They weren't prepared to for a partnership or a union or to come together with somebody. But it's time. Now it's time. It's funny that I got that out and how I did this. It's time. It's time. And maybe it is somebody from the past. It could be. It could be. But I don't think it is. It's interesting because these flowers came from the past. So, interesting. So, there's a sudden change of heart. That's what there is. Somebody sees clearly. They may not have been prepared, but here it is. Good luck.